Up the Toffees. Welcome to Toffees News Today, bringing you the latest updates on Everton Football Club. Stay tuned to find out what happened next. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for an update on this news. Everton appear to be close to announcing a deal with New York-based investment firm MSP Sports Capital. Last week saw a series of seismic changes in Everton's board. Although the week before Chief Executive Denise barrett Baxendale, Chief Financial Officer Grant Ingalls and Non-Executive Director Graham Sharp left their board positions, their departures were followed by new arrivals the following week. Club owner Farhad Moshiri has taken a seat on the board. Ken Wright's future was set to be decided within 48 hours of barrett Baxendale, Ingalls and Sharp's departures being announced, but it would take over a week for any clarity about his future to become public. The unnecessarily arbitrary deadline did little to foster better relations between supporters and the board after what was a prolonged period of turmoil. All the changes came amid the imminent investment in the New York-based company MSP Sports Capital Soccer Club. The company, led by co-founders Jam Najafi and Jeffrey Murad, is in a period of exclusivity and a deal will be announced in due course after filings filed with the U.S. Securities and Exchange. Commission revealed that, as of June 20, a new company, MSP EFC Investors LC, raised $165.5 million, £130.2 million, from a group of 13 investors and submitted a Form D. The SEX Form D filing was a considerable development in the ongoing investment saga and pointed to the announcement of an imminent settlement. A Form D must be filed within 15 days of the sale of securities, the date of the first sale being the date the investor is, irrevocably contractual committed to invest, dot accompanied by Colin Chong, the current director of development of the stadium who assumed the role of CEO and interim director. Also coming to board level is John Spellman, described by the club as a savvy accountant, businessman and Everton player. There was an omission from the departures list which angered many Blues fans, with chairman Bill Kenwright remaining in place, with the club's official statement confirming his continued presence on the board citing Moshiri's desire to keep Kenwright in charge for a period of transition. The deal between Moshiri and MSP is set for a 25% stake in Everton through a preferred stock structure, where the capital provided is essentially loans with warrants that can be called by the MSP and converted into equity at a later date. The investment would see MSP pay a dividend, and while the preferred stock typically has no voting rights, the US company is expected to fill at least two seats on the revamped board of directors. MSP is a company that has a history of seeking operational control with their investments, which means they will want a significant say in the direction of the club's journey and also in how the financial side of the club is managed with the likelihood being that there will be an element of house cleaning. The MSP want a return on their investment for their investors, and while a move to take control of Moshiri isn't on the agenda as things stand, they will want to be as active as possible to ensure the club's transformation before the move. Potentially game-changing for the new stadium at Bramley Moor Dock, the development that has been the driving factor behind the entire investment drive. The club's statement last week suggested that Ken Wright's continued presence on the board would be temporary. Whilst there was understandable skepticism from some fans about the accuracy of that statement, the need for significant changes in terms of the way the club operates and with the influx of new capital which depends heavily on this, it is hard to imagine that the MSP will not look to bring their own staff to oversee such a change. It might be Najafi or Murad, it might not, but given how high the stakes are and the lack of a truly clean break, the baton is likely to pass when it comes to the job of president. There will be an unravelling of Ken Wright's relationship with the club due to his shareholding and, as he has been Everton's most prominent board member in recent years, a transition period from one to the other is understandable. Certainly if the MSP is looking to get an understanding of the club's current situation at the earliest possible opportunity, how MSP's influence will play out won't be real. Known until the deal is finalized and they have sat down at the table. But the fact that such a company is a major stakeholder in the club presents a chance of a cleaner exit for Moshiri down the road when construction of the stadium is completed, should that be his final wish. While this may not occur through MSP aggregating its interest in the club, 
it may occur through relationships that the company maintains with key individuals and companies that may provide increased interest in acquiring part of Moshiri's interest in the future. With house cleaning likely to be a priority and removing unnecessary costs and debt burdens a potential focus, having new voices on the board whose modus operandi is business growth, will likely give Everton a better chance of securing a stronger financial footing. Towards the new stadium which, in turn, will help their ability to spend money in the long term on what they are for with the team on the field. What did you think leave your opinion it's very important.